Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, my name is Costas Lozanis. I am a filmmaker, a daily vlogger, and I own two restaurants in the Dallas Fort Worth area. This video may contain some hurtful and triggering information for some of you. Viewer discretion is advised. I want to talk about taking my restaurants cashless. It's a decision that I have decided is in the best interest of my restaurants. And I feel like it may be in your best interest as well for, for your small business if, if you own one. If you're a consumer and if you're going to businesses where they are not wanting you to pay in cash, there might be some reasons that you don't realize. And it usually has nothing to do with wanting to like take over your brain or convert you into the mark of the beast or all these things that sometimes I hear. Any pushback that I do receive, it's usually people who are saying they don't want government intervention and they don't want all these things. But I mean, they're using government backed paper. If you don't want the government involved, you would pay in crypto or gold coins or something to that effect. I want to talk to you about the benefits of going cashless and uh, the reasons why I'm deciding to shift the businesses this way. Already 97% of my customers pay with a credit card. So I'm handling all of this cash for a micro 3% of all of my transactions. And out of that 3%, I know that probably 80% of those people would probably not have a problem if they were to be asked, could you pay with a, with another payment? I'm literally dealing with 20% of 3% of the customer. So it's very minuscule. First of all, it reduces the risk of robbery by minimizing the amount of cash that we have on hand. We stay open late at night. We have female managers and it's on the weekends and it's, you know, bar restaurant is associated with having lots of cash. One of my restaurants is located near a dart station. We get a lot of the uh, people from downtown Dallas that will get on that dart station and rob the local businesses. Although the police officers and the city are minimizing the amount of break-ins, it's still a part of the reality. By eliminating cash, you know, whenever they do come in, we can simply say like we're a cashless business and there's signages everywhere. And that would hopefully detour robberies and keep my staff safe, which obviously is of the utmost importance. Cash costs money. Transporting the cash, picking up the cash, counting the cash, reconciling the cash accounts, making the deposits, making the withdrawals, all those things cost money. And as I've grown, I'm having to pay people to do those things for me. At the end of the year, I'm spending thousands of dollars counting cash, just counting and counting and counting. If I eliminate the need to count cash, you know, I save myself thousands of dollars in labor costs. It's very costly to, to handle the cash. Again, for only like 3% of my customers, I have to do all of this extra work and it, it's just not efficient. And that's another thing. Cash is inefficient. Whenever I have a 10 top that pays, if they all paid in cash, the server would have to make 10 separate change orders for that table. They pay with a credit card, it's just 10 swipes. So much easier. At the end of the night, servers are having to count their money out. And then going back to the managers, they're having to count the, the servers out on all their cash. And that ordeal can be a 30 minute ordeal, cashing out all the servers and having them turning their stuff. It just speeds up the flow of, of uh, the experience for the guest and makes things more efficient. Whenever you're trying to leave, you don't have to wait for your server to go ask a manager for change. It is just a seamless transaction. Swipe the card or pay with Apple Pay, get in and get out. And that's a beautiful thing. And who, who doesn't want that? A big factor into eliminating all the cash is eliminating shrinkage. Any business, I don't care how many checks and balances you have, there's going to be shrinkage. The drawer will be off by a dollar or two or 10 or 20 or 100 sometimes. It's just humans make errors. And the amount of time that it takes to investigate a cash shortage 
that just adds to the complications and the overhead of running a business. By eliminating cash, you're eliminating the temptation to do wrong. You're essentially keeping honest people honest. It makes me sleep better at night and it removes all accusations of anyone doing anything fraudulent. The next reason is a little selfish. It has been scientifically proven that people will spend between 12 and 18% more on their purchase with a credit card or Apple Pay than they do with cash. And if you can increase your business's sales by 12 or 18%, that's a phenomenal thing. So encouraging guests to use their credit card or use their debit card or Apple Pay will hopefully ensure they are a little bit more relaxed and buy an extra cocktail, buy a dessert, because it's just the swipe of a card. You don't get that negative feeling of counting out hard cash and seeing that leave your wallet. In conclusion, going cashless has a ton of benefits. Sure, there will be that 1% that will be giving us pushback, but the overwhelming majority of people should be understanding of the situation. And I believe that this decision is going to make my business more efficient, more profitable, and more sustainable in the long run. So it's, it's a decision that I don't see very many downsides to, and I'm excited to implement this in my business. If you have any questions or if you want to make any snide remarks in the comment section, I, I certainly welcome those. And uh, for all of you who are thinking about making this decision, I don't think there is any better time. Coronavirus really pushed cashless payments to the forefront where prior to COVID, it was a little taboo. I think now it's a lot more generally accepted. And I think that is just going to be increasingly so over the next five years. It's just the way of the future. And as much as people may bicker about it, there's really no going back. I, I don't I don't see cash even being around uh, more than another 20 years. As we advance and become more efficient, I feel like that old way of doing transactions will become extinct. Thank you for watching. Thanks as always. I appreciate all the uh, love and support. And hopefully I will see you at one of my restaurants paying with uh, a beautiful American Express card.